Hey everyone, Small Games Promoter here. We are playing Mars Horizon. Now, this game was in beta and we just had a chance to play it. I'm just going to showcase a couple things. First of all, the missions that you get, you can research them and you get different sort of missions that you do. Also, buildings like HQ, small launch pads that you start with, and different research labs and stuff like that, and then also a medium launch pad. You also have vehicles, which I don't know if there's a correct term, but since they're using it, it probably is. Um, which are basically rockets they will launch. Uh, you have missions that you can begin with. Milestone as such. Um, we I will do two missions in this part. Uh, this is just a one-off impressions. And uh, one is a mission, sort of a milestone, just as a first test launch. Um, again, you create your own sort of build your own uh, rocket. I didn't quite understood the sort of concepts of the rockets, but maybe that's just because it's me. Um, so we'll do this one in the games rock. Just a quick uh, reminder: this is uh, Mars Horizon, and the game uh, states on their website: lead a major space agency as you guide humanity to Mars in the strategy simulation game. Construct a base, design and build rockets, conduct missions throughout the solar system, and write your own history of space exploration. That's that. So here we go. We build a vehicle. Vehicle is approved. One thing I want to press attention to, expected reliability is 25%. Now, one thing that I did find strange in the two missions I'll showcase to you, I don't know if it's still because it's in closed uh, beta and it's still sort of not final, the content. Um, I will sh tell you in a second what I mean by that, but um, the reliability of my rocket was pretty low. Um, here you have your base, um, like where you can build things like HQ, vehicle hangar, Got all your rockets there, small launch pads which you sort of launch the smaller missions from. And this is how it shows all your buildings. And you also have the tabs for mission buildings and research and such and such. Don't have any new ones at the moment because we haven't researched any. Next month leads you to the next things that you have set up for us is the test launch. And again, I want to. Uh, Remind you all the vehicle reliability is 25%, so it really it's not looking very good for us, so we will see. <coughs> and also in the first mission that did do, I have not really been able to focus on the stats, so I sort of selected the dates at random, not really thinking too much about it. It wasn't suboptimal, so it gave us a really bad stats to begin with. Um, so you're talking minus 20% still, potentially bad, um, but yeah, that's the vehicle, that's the training schedule date, one month until lunch, that's pretty much it. No, don't have any more research to do, so like I said I want to do two missions, one that you get as a sort of test mission that you research and I think it comes with that research already you would go artificial satellite research complete down of space flight unlocked the moon nice and um, and then I want to do one day you a mission that you're invited to and also uh, to put a satellite up but let's do this one optimal suboptimal date and uh, we have launch preparation 5% minus 20% overall bad and um, chances are this rocket would blow up and not really launch anything in the space <clears throat> so it also gives you all the stats uh, I think at the end of it so launch day March 1957 in the games rock it is a great game I had fun with it there's still a lot of things to be done probably with it but so have a quick look there 21% chance in fight engine failure 64% chance of system damage and yeah pretty much overall doesn't look very favorable to us three two one go 
I do really love this game in the sense that the atmosphere is really good and also the research is really good. I would say that you do skip a lot the interns, so maybe it would be more interesting if they have events or something like that that happens in between. For some reason, I don't even know how, we managed to do this, um, so we achieved the milestone. We managed to send our first te test launch. <clears throat> So as you can see, you have animal in space. We do that. The next one I want to showcase is the test mission. And in here, so we can build our own rocket. And we'll just call it. Uh, should we call it? Nah, we already called one indie. So let's go, 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 dancer. We'll call it that. Again, uh, expected reliability is not bad actually, it's 40%, so it's a lot better than the previous one from what I can understand. Looking at the stats, again, on this mission, you know, we sort of, um, I sort of looked into it a lot more and the stats and things like that and the first one I sort of could just click on the buttons so here's our um, reliability of 40% there's no red at all and um, again I've had a look at different dates and uh, to see which one gives us an optimal launch date the best one I could find is 40% um, I couldn't find anything higher than that so I just selected you know Oh, look, invalid last day. We'll go with that one. It does seem that that one is the best serve dates that you can get. And we'll see where we end up. Um, I'm keen to see now if stats do matter and we're ready for lunch. I did skip and cut out a few things in between. You do have to end a few turns and stuff like that, but I do want to keep the content as short as I can and provide you with as much information about the game as I can and um, go go dancer launch day 1957 December let's see how we end up with so launch reliability 40% terrible conditions overall reliability I mean again you know I don't know if it's because of the weather or what let's have a look to see Oh dang. Ooh. So we didn't make it. Engine critical failure, 90% chance. I mean, is it like one of those dice rolls? In this game, you also get funding reviews. So people do watch you. Uh, you know, people who are funding you, they review it to see how much milestones and stuff you have achieved. Uh, I do want to launch, like I said, I want to launch a. a <clears throat> artificial satellite because I couldn't remember it costs a lot of money to build but I'm assuming these things would be super expensive so 100k wow okay right well, let's have a look I gained 15 science budget review January a lot of people liked what I did so now we've reached the next tier which is um, 75 70k sorry you get 11 research and people are favor of you 18 percent i think 18 i don't know what that means thumbs up i think can't do any more missions of that one because we tried to do that one i think and it's already failed so we'll just leave it um, and we'll see cast research complete powerful solid fuel here we go artificial sol satellites being completed S row two B standard. Our engineer managed to vastly improve the payload scientific instruments. Blah blah blah. Let's go. And um, I feel like I couldn't select these ones. I don't know why. I think they're locked. It just says standard, so I just ended up designing my own, which is fun actually, because you can select between all the stats and 
I do feel, I hope that they, they do mean something because like my opinion of this video is what I'm trying to showcase I guess is that um, in the first mission I had better stats than the second one however in the second one I failed anyhow even though I feel like the first one I should have failed and the second one should be more successful but um, yeah that's an opinion I guess it's got great launch reliability I mean overall that's gonna cost a lot of money to do uh, we call this Europa 101 <clears throat> Let's go for this. We'll research that. I'm confused as in medium launch pads require. Okay, right, I see. So we need to do the, the building there. I mean, one thing I find that these buildings are sort of really close to one another. You can't really build anywhere. There are certain buildings that go in a certain place. Rocket test pad. So I did struggle a little bit trying to find room for it until I realized that the bushes is something that you can actually delete um, and remove by paying funds. Uh, you'll see that in a second. Um, at the moment, I'm still trying to figure out basically what's happening with this um, building as you can see you cannot build it uh, one thing i would like them to do ideally i mean again it's their game so i'm just giving my two cents about it but when you do place a building it would be good to the cost of being the building being placed also include removing sort of any items there on the floor they're stopping you like the trees and stuff like that so it makes um the game a little bit you know easier to manage you just put the building down and that will increase and you know where whatever's hiding underneath to remove it or to level the ground and stuff like that it would um it would cost you that uh that much because it took me a while to realize that you can actually remove the trees i thought that yeah i had to this little space and i had to find sort of room for everything um as you can see here i'm going nuts trying to find where the heck can I move these things <laughs> which is not really the right thing to do but um, I did discover it eventually but uh, it took me a while so as you can see I'm going nuts here trying to find a way to remove this so here we go to move buildings as well does cost funds so if you're not sure where to put your building you know, kind of have a plan in mind when you build the base or where you want everything to go. Um, and now I can research the um, medium and build it. And this is where I realize there must be something else. Come on, it's <laughs> seriously, there's no space enough to build the stuff that I want. And um, then I figure out on my own that eventually you can just remove stuff. But I didn't until then. I just believed it. Um, <laughs> that uh, you couldn't move anything. And that was it. Because it was still in uh, early access. Or in a beta actually. And also 3000k. I don't know why it costs so much. It seems like it's the same as the previous one. Sort of just make it all the same price. Ideally because the same trees are. If there are bigger amount of trees, then I can see that, but otherwise, um, I don't see the point of making some trees more expensive than other to remove, um, unless you are removing a larger amount of trees or something. And um, yeah, make the um, sort of vehicles uh, and maybe sort of fuel and things like that separate rather than in the same. Um, make more research different categories and stuff like that like vehicles can be the rockets and then you have all like the fuels they use for the rockets or the boosters or whatever it is that different rockets just ideas really if you guys want to know what my thoughts are on the matter um we will set it up for a date to launch this satellite again this is a 
nice game. I am enjoying it. Uh, I have enjoyed it playing it. I would not say that in the current format is you know complete. Obviously, it's got a lot of things and a long way to go, but uh, I am having fun with it for what it's worth and for what it offers. Um, but yeah, so we'll uh, launch our artificial satellite. There's two steps to this, as you will see. There's a launch, which we already viewed. Uh, so far that doesn't change and then there's also the um uh, i mean this satellite costed me 600 grand so i did sincerely hope that this is gonna work because otherwise it's a lot of waste of money all for nothing um so yeah we'll start this and then i will show you the second part of the missions again bad conditions looks like it has a big effect but thankfully we don't have uh, a low reliability so we can probably manage just this about and here we go and also the video yeah the the one thing i'd say is obviously the this satellite thing and um, it's quite big i don't know how it works in space if it's like um bigger rockets maybe or something like that and then when it kind of like comes apart, then it just expands. I don't know if that's the case or how it works. But uh, yeah, the second part is that you have to achieve two uh, things. One, the two points in SR communication and planet orb observation as well. To do that, you need to hopefully pass these random tests. As you can see here, as long as it reaches in sort of a green area, they have a chance of passing. Um, if it goes in the lower area, then you have a chance of failing. Kind of self-explanatory there. Um, so as you can see, I'm already one uh, out of two and one out of two as well. And it really kind of depends on sort of the ones you select and the sort of the um, percentage they have a chance to, to get. Uh, I think I think that's kind of what it is I don't know why but this one was really low and I, I thought that that's, that was it <laughs> that my uh, satellite is gonna break but um, camera shutter failure I did say resist and somehow I managed to do that um, and passed which is great because I was afraid that this is going to blow up in our space and then it's going to make me fail the mission. And I got the other one as well. And um, which is good. That means that now we have resolved this mission. So this is the second part of the satellite sort of thing. Um, that you have to achieve those things. I guess it's just to do tests to make sure that. He's going to be able to capture information into space. Again, really cute sort of video there of the um, people working in your base. And again, the graphics, I'm sure, will improve. But that's the game there for you in Mars Horizon. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do, the link will be in the description where to wishlist the game. Also, this is the last day of my fundraiser. If you want to click on the link below, it really helps Social Byte. Um, if you would like to donate to help some people affected in Scotland from the coronavirus affected um, financially, help them out and check out the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.